How's it going from the Carolina Bee Ranch? Got a little pre-dawn message. Sorry there hadn't been any uh, videos or, you know, of us either doing bees or uh, messing with the ATVs and riding and stuff. We kind of had a tragedy at the old Bee Ranch here. We, uh, we lost my mom and we almost lost Stephen Jr. and my daughter. And we lost my daughter's son, Ethan. Or my daughter's boyfriend, Ethan. My friend's son. Um, they were sitting at a red light on their way back from the movie theater. They had just dropped off one of our other little friends, a little 13 year old girl named Chloe. Luckiest little thing ever. She had just got dropped off and uh, they were sitting at a red light. And damn drunk driver. It's, it won't even supposed to be here legally. Then snuck in three different times from Honduras. But freaking drunk driver ran into him going about 90 while they're at the stoplight. Killed my mom instantly. They had Ethan on life support for about two days. And the poor little dude didn't make it. He was only 15. They found my daughter laying in the road in a puddle of gasoline with a broke neck. I don't even think she was conscious. She's got a broke foot and some other problems too. But she she can walk, and move her legs and stuff. So that's a miracle. And my son's got a fractured spine. They were talking about maybe fusing three of his vertebrae, but they he's just too active of a kid. You know, I mean, he does ATVs, he does bees, he does Boy Scouts. He's just a rowdy kid, and so we we're kind of waiting and seeing if. It'll heal good on its own because of the way the break is in his spine. There's a real good chance that it'll heal up on its own, in which case that will be the strongest part of the bone, not the weakest part of the bone if you go fusing stuff. I happen to know because I have titanium in my ankle. I have stainless steel in my leg. I had my foot put pointing backwards before. I've broken 14 bones. I had four concussions. Got some leg skin holding my hand together right there. So I've been through it, so I kind of know these things, but hopefully his will heal up. We're uh, keeping follow-up appointments with the doctors and whatnot. Haley already had to have surgery on her neck to fuse two vertebrae. I don't know how that's going to affect her competitive dancing and stuff that she does, but like I said, I'm just glad that they're alive and they can walk. Um, bee update. We're still messing with the bees. Stephen was worried about his bees because a real cold snap came in when he was in the hospital, stuck up there for a while, and I checked on him for him. We had a rough summer this year with with it being just me and the kids all summer, and then so I was neglecting the bees a little bit and then trying to work on everything, get that back fixed, was taking a lot of my time. That was taken away from the bees, and then now all this happened, and... I'd be surprised if we have any bees get through the winter, but we're we're trying. I went and helped some more of them out yesterday, and I'm going to build some little uh, pollen feeders today at some point. I'll do a video on how to build those. They're real easy. Much as I like the one from Man Lake, the blue one, I'm just not paying like $150 for some little hunk of plastic. I just refuse. But uh, So I will be showing you all how to make some pollen feeders later today getting them up there for the ladies and uh i noticed we're up to 96 subscriber net now that's pretty cool um whenever i finally get to 100 subscribers i'm gonna really make a point to make better videos and more often like i just realized i'm holding the phone wrong again so this is gonna be a little skinny video with little black streaks on the sides again sorry y'all um, <laughs> I'm a lot of things, but a vi videographer is not one of them. But, uh, yeah, so we're just trying to hang in there and just wanted to update y'all. Carolina Bee Ranch going through it. I'm out of here in the dang RV, if you can't tell. It's still dark outside. It's like four something in the morning. I don't know. I don't even sleep anymore. I, I go to bed super early, it seems like, and I just can't sleep past like 4 or 4 30 and i don't want to disturb the wife so i'm out here just kind of farting around and getting woke up and as soon as it's a little more daylight i'm gonna start doing some work in the garage try not to wake up the neighbors but 
Yeah, that's the update with the Carolina Bee Ranch. There's not going to be any riding for a minute because my babies are all busted up. Um, Steven can't lift anything over five pounds currently with his fractured spine. So, I mean, obviously I'll help him do whatever he needs to do with his bees, but he's not going to be able to mess with them for a good long while. So, maybe we'll get this RV loaded up and go check out some leaves up in the mountains, changing colors or something. I don't know, but. Just wanted to give y'all an update, and that's where we're at. Y'all have a good one. Hug your kids. Hug your parents. Never know when it's the last chance to do either one. Stay careful out there. Carolina Bee Ranch. Signing out.